Hi everyone, I'm so happy you're here today. We're gonna to be making the insert to make a vase for flowers on the inside of the card. Isn't that cute? Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're gonna to be making a cute insert for any type of card that's vertical. So it's gonna open up like this and you're gonna see a cute little vase full of flowers on the inside. And did you see how the vase moves when you close it? It goes flat. So it's great for mailing too. So then when the receiver opens it, it forms the little base of the vase. So cute. All right, so the idea came from Ellen. She sent me her beautiful card using the daffodils. Thank you, Ellen. So this is her card. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And then this is another one that I made, but this was the very first one that I actually made. So I made it into just holding one flower there just to see how I could do the, the vase. But we're going to make the insert today. So I'm not going to decorate the front of the card or anything. We're just going to take a piece of basic white for the base of the card and we're just going to make the insert. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my basic white. Go ahead and fold that and burnish it. So you got your card base. And then these three pieces right here are going to make the vase that when the card is opened, it forms into a, a vase, all right? So let me give you the measurements. This piece of designer paper, this is double-sided. This piece is cut at two and a quarter by five, and we're going to score that. And then this piece of basic white is three-fourths by three and seven eighths. And this is the arm of the, the pulley for the vase. And then this little piece we'll call the stopper. This is a half inch by two inches. And we're gonna score these two pieces right here. So let's grab our trimmer. All right, let's score the designer paper first. On the two and a quarter inch side, we're gonna score it at three fourths. And one and a half. Okay, and we're gonna turn it on the five inch side. Yep, and we're gonna score it at one inch on both ends. I'm just gonna use the side panel over here for my one inch. Okay, and then for the arm, this is your three fourths by three and seven eighths. We're gonna score this on one end at three eighths, and the three eighths is the eighth mark right before the half. Okay, and that's it. All right, let me get my paper snips. We're gonna cut on the designer paper. So let me show you here. We scored it the one inch on both ends right here. Okay, so on one end, let me see if I can fold those score lines a little bit so I can see them. We're gonna cut two of the panels off on one end. So it's going to look like this. We're going to remove this tab and then this tab right here. Okay, so you're going to have one tab in the center. Now on the opposite end, you're going to do the opposite. So you're going to remove the center tab and keep the left and the right tab. Hold on, I can't see that score line. Hold on, I got to score that. I got to see where I'm cutting. There we go. Okay. Cut on the score line up to that one inch and, and then remove the center tab. Okay, so now it should look like that. Now we're going to grab some tear and tape and we're going to put some. Now, this is going to be, I'm going to put the flower side. Now, the other side is the stripe side. So I'm going to put the flower side as the front of my vase. So when you're making this card, you got to decide what side you want for the front and the back all right so on the the back side we're going to put two little strips of tear and tape on the one single tab okay and then on this tab this is the pull arm remember that piece this scored end right here is going to be on the right hand side and we're going to attach this little arm without the scored end we're going to attach it right like this so the scored end is going to be over here on this side okay so let me get my 
Take your pick tool. Let's remove our adhesive backing. I'm using my take your pick tool. It's got a little poker thing on there. So it makes it easy to remove the backing. All right, so we're going to take, remember this is the score end, so we're going to just line that up, and it should line up perfectly right up to that score line. Remember we folded that right there. Okay, so adhere it down. So now it should look like this. Okay, now on this end over here, we're going to put some tear and tape on the end that's facing up, just like that. And then on this piece here, we didn't score anything on this. This is a stopper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put adhesive, the tear and tape, a little piece at the top, tear that, and then a little piece at the bottom. Okay, so then that should look like that. All right, let's grab our card. Now, if you're using a color, like let's say you're using the Starry Sky, I find that when I use the white base, it's a little bit easier because you don't have to put another piece on the inside. You can just sign the card the way it is. But I mean, it's it's totally up to you. But I would put, if you did want to add an insert into the cards, you know how we put a little basic white piece on a, let's say a basic black piece. Oh, so for instance, like this piece right here. Like if you want to add your insert, put that in first before we put the arm onto the card. Okay, so, but if not, I mean, just use your basic white and you'll be just fine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our arm onto the card. We're going to remove our backing of this little end here, the adhesive. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our vase and align this sticky part here with the tear and tape right up with the score line of the card. Hopefully you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to line that up right with that score line of the card with the sticky of the tear and tape facing up. And then my vase, I'm also going to keep centered too. So I don't want it crooked down at this end either, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fold over the card and grab that tear and tape. That one little three-eighths of an inch at the end, just like that. Now we're going to flip this over. Now we're going to add tear and tape to these two tabs over here. So let me grab that. We're going to put two strips on each of the tabs. It fits perfectly. Okay, then we're going to take our take your pick. I'm going to take this pokey, remove the backing. Now I made this card with the flowers. I'll be putting maybe a couple flowers in this vase just to give you an idea of what I did. But it was mainly just to construct the vase for you guys to see how to do that. All right, so I removed the, the tape backing and I'm going to fold it back on itself. And then we're going to take this little arm here, the stopper. Remember, this is the half inch by two and you're going to remove the backing of the tape on these two ends. Okay, then you're going to put the adhesive right here. You're going to put that on the inside of the opposite side of the card. So you're going to put it over here by the, the vase end right here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put that right up, almost right next to that vase end. Hopefully you can see that. And the adhesive is only at the top and the bottom. All right, that's the only place where that adhesive is. It shouldn't stick to your arm or the vase. It should only stick to the base. And it's going to be like a little guide for your little arm here when it moves in and out for the vase. It's going to keep it in place so it's not sloppy. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and fold this back over. Okay, so we're going to fold our tabs over. And then you're going to... You're going to be closing the card, but your tab right here, this arm, is going to fit between these two tabs that we got adhesive on. So when you're closing it, make sure you're going to kind of keep that in the center of the card. And you want to pull it and then lay it flat. Hopefully you can see that. Lay it flat for the card. 
just like that okay and then when you open it it's going to form your vase just like that can you see the mechanism in there <laughs> isn't that great i love it all right now for me to decorate my flowers what i used is the sending smiles stamp set and die let me show you those so this is the die and I went ahead and decorated the front with the sending and then a card to say hello. And then I stamped the flowers on the front. But then I die cut out the little flowers for the inside. And there's a variety of flowers in this collection. But there's also the daffodil set too that Ellen used on hers that you could also use for the little vase of flowers. Really any kind of flowers would be great. So what I did is I die cut out the leaves or the stems couple of those and then I did a couple of these with the I think it was pear pizzazz and then I stamped the flowers and then I cut them out okay so I have a whole bunch right here ready to go so I'm going to show you how I laid out my flowers so with the stem that's got a single stem I put onto the front of the vase so right on the body of the vase and then the larger stem that holds two flowers so this one would hold like this flower here like that and then there's a little stem that kicks off to the side over here i would put like this flower over here okay so i'm going to put those stems and flowers in the background so it's going to make like a little cluster so I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of these on with you to show you how I did that. So I'm going to use my liquid glue and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the stem. And then you're just going to position this so when the vase is open, you want the vase of flowers to be like sitting there. So I'm going to put a, a stem here and then I'm going to take a larger stem and put that on the back on the background of my vase right over here okay then for my flowers i'm actually going to pop those up on dimensionals so i put the big one right over here and then put this one. This is using the Fresh Freesia. This one's using the Sweet Sorbet. Now remember, you don't want to go above or you know below the card. So if you start putting your little stem in here, so like I would put the glue. Now this is the front of my stem, so I'm going to put my stem on the inside of my vase. So I want my glue on the front. So I'm just going to go ahead and position this right where I want it. Just hold it there for a couple seconds. Let me grab another one. So here's another stem. You could add as many stems as you want, really. I mean, you could go really, really crazy and overboard with it, but I'm going to just put one right here. Okay, so remember this vase closes flat, so try not to move the glue around up in there because you don't want it to be glued shut when it's flat. Okay, so let me grab a couple other flowers. Let me get another fresh freesia. I'm going to put the, the glue on the stem that's actually in the vase. I'm going to put the flower onto that right onto the stem. like that let's put the turquoise one over here you could actually put the smaller flowers here too if you wanted okay and then you like I said you could put the because these stems in the back there's like enough stems to add a couple flowers on those so you could put flowers all over but isn't it cute so then it closes flat just like that for mailing and then when you open it 
it forms into the vase. Ugh, so clever. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, let me show you the other ones really quick. Okay, so this one is from Ellen. She sent this to me as a thank you note so you can get an idea of what the daffodils look like. It's so pretty. And then the idea that I seen on this vase card was from Jane. I think her name was Dooley. So her video was very helpful. So thank you, Jane. And then this was my first one that I made with the single little daffodil in the vase. Very cute. And then this one is the one like we made in the glitter pit. But I made it with the sweet sorbet on the front. So you can catch the whole video on that card. And then I also stamped and cut out the little love and big hugs and just put a little dimensional on the front that so when it opens it kind of pops out so cute all right so if you have any questions please let me know that's what i'm here for also i'll have all the items listed down below and then don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like today's video okay thanks for stopping by we'll see you later bye